Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and in today's episode we are checking out the Icon A5 improvement modification. This is another modification that brings one of the default Asobo aircraft up closer to real world pilot operational handbook standards. So stick around guys we're going to see just how good this one really is. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Okay, so starting out, as always, link to this modification will be found down in the description below. Um, I'll let you guys go ahead and pause the screen here and read the, read the description as you want. But again, the objective of this modification is to take this aircraft and bring it up to a real-world flight model or as closely there to as possible. Um, one of the other things to take note of is the rather extensive change logs. I would start with uh, these sections here, but primarily this one here is the uh, the biggest uh, of the improvements, and then we work your way up. There's still a bunch of increases. It seems to be being updated still rather uh, frequently, most recently back on February the 19th. Uh, so that would actually, excuse me, that's today. I, for some reason, I thought today was the 20th. Don't you love it when that happens? Anyway, so let's go ahead and get right into the aircraft. Now the next really cool thing about this that I really appreciate is it comes with a full detailed checklist. Um, I, I love aircraft that come with documentation. So when you download the modification inside of the aircraft folder, there will be a documentation folder uh, in which you can find the checklist here. So let's see here, where are we gonna be started? We're gonna be starting for after cockpit entry is where we're gonna start here today. So let's get into the aircraft. All right, so we got the head truck going on. Now, one thing I really do like about this aircraft is it's very sleek looking. I mean, it looks very, very nice. It's almost like you're sitting in the cockpit of a sports car, you know, something uh, something high performance. And then you come around and realize, oh, crap, this is a plane. Uh, but it's definitely a very, very, very nicely done uh, model. Now, that's one thing that I will definitely give Asobo is all the default aircraft look great. They always look great. It's just, you know, sometimes in this case, again, the performances uh, don't. Uh, really come close to what we would expect from a real-world aircraft. Uh, but now with that in mind, let's go ahead and start taking a look at what some of our checklists look like. So we're obviously looking for a landing gear handle to verify that is down. Electrical switches do, 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 are all off. And let's see here, master switch comes to on. Now let's find our master switch. It's been a long time since I've flown this aircraft. It's been a very long time. Here's the master switch. All right, master switch comes on. Enunciator panel, press to test and verify. Where is my enunciation panel? There it is. All right. All lights functioning. And let's see here, landing gear position indicator down and up. Well, it says the enunciator panel is what I'm supposed to be looking at, but I guess that doesn't make much sense. It says down and up. Oh, up for land and water. Gosh, keep reading there, dude. Bilge pump on, verify operation and bilge is empty, then back to off. So where's our bilge pump? There it is. Uh, looks like that is non-functional at the moment. Fair enough. All right, fuel valve on. Mm, maybe that. I can't see. Nope. Handbrake. That. Okay, that's on. Uh, fuel pump. I'm looking here, guys. Like I said, it's it's been a while. I think I've flown this aircraft once before, before shortly after the sim first launched. Uh, let's turn that on at least. I know I should, but I do not see a fuel pump. Don't worry, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. If I can't find it, I can't find it. That'll be a, a job for another video. Oh, cool. That's one of those aircraft that has a parachute in it. That's interesting. I always find that interesting. Or fuel valve. Sorry, that's what I'm like. You know what, though? I'll bet you it's up there. Yep, there it is. There's our fuel valve. All right, fuel valve comes to on. Does the parachute work? 
<laughs> okay, no. probably be a bad time to push it, but I was very interested. Anyway, okay, so now let me get my camera back here. Okay, all right, so we got the fuel valve on. IPS safety pin removed. We're gonna assume that all pins are removed. Now, before engine start, strobes come to on on engine start. Obviously, nav lights can come on. And let's see here, what do we got going on here? Brakes, test and verify. Brakes are working. All right, what do we got next here? Uh, throttle, open half inch. Oh my gosh, I'm barely touching it. All right, throttle's open half inch. And area around ground is clear. We are clear. And ignition. Okay. What else we got here going on? I did rush the ignition start, but that's all right. All right, moving down to the next page. Uh, let's see here. Da 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 da. Radio and transponder. Transponder is on. Radio is on. Altimeter set and verify. Altimeter is now set. And let's see here. Instruments check. Parking brakes released. Okay. All right. So let go of that parking brake there. And uh, I think hard taxi to the left is going to be our best bet here. And we are at St. Bart's out in the Caribbean, so there's only one place we can take off. You never take off up towards the tree or up towards the hill, so we're just going to get ourselves over here on the taxiway. Did I miss a taxi light? Oh, I did. That nose wheel is just crazy on the steering. <laughs> Very responsive. I think it's what I always love about the improvement mods is you can always count on that uh, nose wheel actuation being adjusted. I suppose the only thing we gotta do is kick that landing light on. Flaps one for takeoff. I believe we're looking for 45 knots, if I remember correctly. Gets up and going, doesn't it? There's 45 knots rotating. 55 knots, sorry, that's what it should have been. All right, wheels coming up. Flaps up. Trim works fantastically. You can actually hear the trim switch actuating there. Oops. <laughs> Let's try that again. I was trying to give you guys a cool outside view and I forgot I had the controls armed. So let's go insert and go.
Very cool little plane. Very pretty plane. I feel like we're stuttering. Give me a minute. Oh. I don't know, we're getting 72 frames per second, which is amazing in itself. But man, it sure looks like we're stuttering. It looks like we're getting micro stutters. I think it's time to do another performance dive in and see if we can get rid of some of these. Now the Icon A5 is also a seaplane, so we're definitely going to be testing out a water landing. It flies very, very smooth. Um, you can definitely tell there's been some flight model changes. Uh, it, it is not like an Asobo aircraft. Uh, as you turn, you better be ready to make other adjustments. It's definitely requiring me to work. There's a pretty shot. I love some of these exterior pictures, man. Like this one is beautiful. Look at the water. Look at the sun laying down on there. It was gorgeous. All right, so now let's see what we can do for a water landing here. All right, so for landing, we'll obviously just check steering. looking at our checklist here. Landing gear up. Flaps full 30, under 75 knots. Water rudder up. Okay. AOA white line. Just try bringing it back around here. Although winds are zero five nine. I just realized we don't have a standby heading indicator on this. It's interesting. There we go. So it said 059. Let me just actually... Wow. See how quickly that increased the rate of turn? The flaps down? We're going to turn it back around and land into the wind here in just a second here. Full flaps. 
Again, 054 now on the winds. Oop, too much. Within 10 feet, 15 feet, excuse me, 10, I like that it actually gives us the wake. This is probably one of the better modeled boats. And then we can turn our water rudder on for better authority if we want. Oh yeah, and it turns, man. Oh, there's another cool shot right there. Some of these are just too pretty to pass up, man. I love taking screenshots in this game. This simulator has just the best. That's one thing I will not take away from. All right, so take off. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da -da -da -da, that was for a landing. We got that. Stick full aft after touchdown. That was the one thing I missed for maximum hydrodynamic braking. All right, good to know. All right, and then now, soft field takeoff, short field takeoff, before taxi from water or ramp. Uh, let's see here, what am I looking for? Glassy water landing. I don't know if I'd call this glassy, but final approach path, wheels up, for water indicating, flaps full, water rudder up. Oh, that's for landing, damn it. What about a water takeoff? Let me find that. Hey, I'm going back through our checklist. There's engine start. There's taxi. Oh, it just has water rudder down. So basically, we just power up and roll. But we can do the water rudder down for better authority. But we'll go ahead and bring it up. I want to see what that's like. Very cool. This is a fun little plane, man. This modification is fantastic. Holy crap. All right, so let's, let's talk about this for a second. So the aircraft feels, and I know that feels is always such a weird word when you talk about simulation, but it feels heavy you can feel the weight in, in the controls um y yet you feel like you have control um i think i enjoyed that water landing the best of any water landing i've ever done any other aircraft because i i could anticipate what the aircraft was doing um the display is extremely nice and handy to have when you wrap it all into what you're feeling in the aircraft and then being able to have that really nice central display there. I really enjoy that as well. Uh, the trim controls are extremely nice. I'm really enjoying the response rate of the trim. A lot of the aircraft, it's sort of like an all or nothing situation. You go to use your trim controls and you get so much that it's almost overwhelming. Um, but uh, this is actually a really 
really enjoyable flight. And, and, and I'm going to be blunt. I wasn't expecting I was not expecting this to be an aircraft that I would enjoy. Like I said, I, I tried it long ago. Uh, I want to say shortly after the release of, micro, release of Microsoft Flight Simulator. But um, and I just it, it was it was meh. Um, but this is actually a ton of fun. Um, the sounds are wonderful in it. I'll give them that. It was absolutely beautiful. I, I really dig the sounds. The overall textures and, and experience of flying the aircraft is great. I think being out here in the Caribbean is definitely a very uh, icon uh, A5 location. I think this is a, a perfect spot to be flying this kind of an aircraft. You know, you have that, that generalized option of, of runway versus, you know, um, just, just tearing it up in, in the sky or the water. So it's... Uh, yeah, I, I would I would definitely recommend this, guys. Absolutely. Oh, wow. It looks like we have some turbulence there. This is all turbulence. My hands are off the controls. My hands are still off the controls. This is all this is all flight model and weather impact. Hands are still off the controls. All right, we're back on. What do you guys think of that? That was beautiful representation. All right, let's, uh, next thing we're checking, landing gear. Uh, landing gear down is supposed to act basically like a, uh, a speed break, and that was intense drag. We got a crap ton of drag there. Now, we are still in full flaps. Don't think that I've missed that. Um, I knew that we were coming over here to the airfield, so. Um, but that was intense. The drag is ridiculous right now. Look at that. So that nose wheel gear door there is supposed to act basically like a speed brake. They look beautiful, guys. How gorgeous that is. Can't beat it, man. That's why I keep flying the sim, definitely. Little forward slip action. Normally I would have gone around, but I knew this aircraft didn't need very much runway to stop, so I knew we were safe there. I feel like you could do a donut in this thing. Let's get back over to our parking area here. I don't want to hold the runway up too long here.
All right, guys, so the next time you guys want to take a quick little hop out in a little plane and just sort of do a little bit of sightseeing somewhere with some water and you can have some fun, try out this Akon A5 improvement mod. This thing was a ton of fun. I am so glad that I decided to grab it. I was seriously skeptical. I wasn't sure if I was actually going to like it. I was debating even grabbing it. Um, and then I decided, you know what, why not? Let's try something different. So um, definitely definitely worth the flight. I had a great time flying this. I'm sitting here already thinking of new ways that I can implement this into the channel um, and uh, really, really digging it. Like I said, it feels like you're flying a sports car. I love the forward dash look. It looks very sporty, very, very uh, Ferrari, Lamborghini stylish. Um, I think you guys will really dig this. So please, please, please trust me. Give this one a shot. I think you'll really enjoy it to the developers. Wonderful, wonderful work. And thank you for bringing this to the community. Truly appreciate it. All right, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave your questions and comments down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Stay safe and healthy. And you know what's next. I'll see you in the next one.